Hello friends, this video on light part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now while we are talking about vision, you have see, you would have come across many people who suffer from a lot of eye, eyesight problems. So and all these problems are termed as defects of vision. Now some of the defects which are commonly seen are myopia, hypermetropia, astigmatism, presbyopia, cataract. So these are some of the very common defects. In fact, cataract is very much common. In fact, if, if you you have your grandfather or grandmother, so elderly people, they often undergo the, uh, the cataract surgery. Now, what happens in cataract is, I was talking about the eye lens, right? So sometimes that eye lens, eye lens is all transparent, only then refraction happens, right? And the, your image formation happens. Now, sometimes when people age, but sometimes also due to accidents or any other reason that eye lens it gradually turns milky so instead of being transparent it becomes milky so when it becomes milky it is not able to allow refraction to happen properly now when refraction doesn't happen properly light is not focused on the retina so proper image formation does not take place and that is why people often have uh, a blurred vision when they have cataract so in the surgery what they do is they just replace that milky white lens with another artificial lens so instead of the natural eye lens another eye lens is put in place and then again the person can see everything perfectly so let us discuss about a few of these defects so let's talk about myopia so what is myopia so it is also termed as nearsightedness. Why is it called nearsightedness? Because in myopia, people can only see the nearby objects clearly. So it is called nearsightedness. That is they have the sight only for near objects. If the objects are located far away, they are not able to see it. In fact, this is also very common in with elderly people. Many people, they can't see objects which are very far away, but they can see objects when they are closer to them. Why does this happen? This happens because the image is not formed on the retina. In fact, the image is formed before retina. So if you see here, this is how the defect is. So this is myopia. So in case of myopia, when you look at a particular object, the image instead of forming on the retina, it forms before retina. So that is why you can see the nearby objects, but you are unable to see the distant objects clearly. However, this can be corrected and how is this corrected? By using another lens. So the eye lens, this is the eye lens. Right? So this eye lens is there, so this eye lens will remain there. So what will be done is another additional lens is given. Now when you give this additional lens, now what kind of lens is this? This is a concave lens. So when you give this concave lens, what will it do? It will help to diverge these rays so that the point where they are meeting after refraction, it gets increased and it is formed on the retina. So the image is formed on the retina. So by using this lens. Now have you ever seen people with um, spectacles or people using lens? So this is what they are actually using. So some of them use spectacles which has a concave lens and that's how they are able to see distant objects clearly. So in this case, the, no, no, no surgery or nothing, the eye is not at all bothered. But an additional lens is put before the eye lens so that the image is formed on the retina and the person gets a perfect eyesight. So this is corrected using the concave lens. Next is hypermetropia. It is just the opposite of myopia. At some people, they are able to see distant objects clearly, but they cannot see nearby objects. So they are said to have farsightedness. That is, they can see far objects clearly. So here, image is formed beyond retina. So instead of retina, image is formed here. So it goes beyond retina. So in this case again the closer objects cannot be seen clearly. So here also we can correct it by using an additional lens but this time we use a convex lens because this is a converging lens. So it helps the rays to get converged or they it helps the rays to meet quite quickly and that's why instead of meeting here the rays meet here 
and that's how the image is again formed on the retina and the, perf the person gets a perfect vision. So it can be corrected using a convex lens. So myopia and hypermetropia are two very common defects of vision which is seen in people. Now it is not necessary that it is seen only in elderly people. Even young people can get these problems. In fact, some people from their childhood also they have these kind of defects of vision. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.